It's an additive that makes food taste better. It's in grocery stores, it's in restaurants, it's almost everywhere you eat. It's called monosodium glutamate or MSG. Most people don't know that MSG is in thousands of foods and often under hidden names and most probably in your kitchen cupboards. You may not realize what it's doing to your body. It can lead to obesity, heart and brain damage, cancer and damage to unborn babies. MSG is everywhere. To understand MSG, you've got to know about your body and its chemistry. MSG is a glutamic acid salt. Glutamate is an amino acid and protein building block and a neurotransmitter. Glutamate is one of the key molecules and supplier of the chemical reactions making human life transpire. Glutamate actually naturally occurs, I should add, but the kind they want to feed us is constructed in a lab it's addictive yes no less but when i persist with excess i can't digest it and my system gets stressed it's an excitotoxin nerve cells vibrate to lay lies slain and artery walls dilate causing migraines in my brain these reactions manifest into awful diseases cancers and neurological disorders and seizures manic depression autism and type 2 diabetes metabolic disorders alzheimer's right through to obesity high blood pressure asthma strokes and hypertension are all at record highs folks so try prevention i should mention also insulin production skyrockets and impaired vision it destroys nerves within your eye sockets it eats away my nervous system's myelin sheets it's the secret spice in kfc and hidden in the pies you eat your body thinks it's protein it tricks your tongue it's called hvp veggie protein and 621 the user the names to the hide this flavor it's in almost everything Like we are slave to the master The food industry propaganda Is mistaken for science That in cahoots with Big Pharma Creating more clients I'm not consuming poisons I run out of consume real food That processed food is full of poisons to add in some of our canola oil first of all and it was all made with heart healthy canola oil it makes me feel proud that i'm serving a healthy meal made from canola oil because i know that my children and my grandchildren would be eating a healthy meal and it's good for their heart we choose to use the canola oil because it's healthier and a better product for our customers i've used lots of different oils oils all over all over the country, from all over the world, and when it comes to the best quality for my family, canola oil is what I use. As a registered dietitian, I tell my patients that canola oil is one of the healthiest choices. Have you been led to believe that canola oil is good for you? Well, it's not, in fact, it's toxic and really should not be poured in food. I once stood in your shoes and now I'll fight until you listen. Canola is the rick which says goodnight to your immune system. It becomes Clumping together red blood corpuscles Grasping your heart Thyroid gland and can paralyze your muscles See the ingredients Vegetable oil is canola's dishonest twist It's in almost every food Cause it's the cheapest oil on the list It's a carcinogen It's refined with heat With such a high degree It disrupts your central nervous system And depletes your vitamin E And like MSG It destroys your myelin sheaths And nerves that lie beneath Short circuit and leave you Time to find relief, say a big heart of disease And side effects and rape lives My FDA, it's good for health Lie detector detects lies Monsanto's roundup ready Canola oil had a quick government approval But this erucic acid oil should really be made
hit with subsequent removal. Canola oil comes from the plant behind mad cow disease. And stunts growth in infants and leaves bad lesions in their arteries. It promotes heart disease in large degrees. And it's a hoax on the entire planet. It's trans fats, it's margarine, it's jokes, it's imitation food, it's plastic. It slowly eats away your brain, causing blindness and loss of mind. An erratic behavior, but you'll find this is glossed and shined over. Like we are rats in a test case, it's less safe and effects take about a decade to gestate. And we can only speculate on a death rate. Consent says yes, mate, we shouldn't mess with the tried and true. And I'm assessing a guess that cold pressed on a boil is the best inside of you. So what are we gonna do? Bill it, ban it, will it for the planet? Come on, sing it, mean it, do it. consumer needs to tell these manufacturers we're not going to buy your product until that's taken out and don't disguise names because we'll find out what they are as consumers we can't make a healthy choice until we know exactly what is in our food one of the things we can do to help change habits is to get as much information as we can on toxic additives used in processed foods and share this information with our friends and family read labels and know what you are eating remember the consumer is still king